Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Welcome back to my channel, Ramya from DC Girl 101. How have you been? It's it feels like a million years since I sat down and recorded a video for you guys. I'm back from my vacation from India. I have a lot of hauls to film, but let's get to this video right now. Uh, so this is in collaboration with Suganda from Glammy Gal. We decided we will collaborate and film makeup looks. She has already done a couple of makeup looks, so please go ahead, check her channel out. Tell her that uh, Ramya has sent you and subscribe to her channel and support her. I'm going to add uh, the link to her YouTube channel in the descri description box below. I can't talk with the excitement. And I will also add pictures and clips here and there of her makeup look. So my tutorial is really, really simple. You look at the eye tutorial and you'll be like, what? That's it? And it looks so uh, classy and uh, well put up and stuff like that. So stay tuned and keep watching and let me know in the comment section below. A very, very happy new year. I can't believe 2015 is over and all the good and bad bring it on 2016 i'm ready for it so happy new year and i will see you guys very very soon and just before i forget please go ahead subscribe stay tuned and um i will love you all more for that and uh thank you for watching i'll see you guys very very soon bye bye All right, this is Suganda from Glammy Gal. Look at her eye tutorial. Please go ahead, check her channel out and check her video out. And I'm just posing around like a diva. I absolutely loved how simple this look is with that red classy lip. Um, really perfect for New Year's. Just a pop of um, eyeshadow here and a bright red lip to go with your outfit. And um, I thought I had a clip of the outfit also, so I'll share a picture on my Instagram account, desigal1010. So please go ahead, follow me there and check, um, stay updated for more pictures. So here I am, my bare face. I just had my moisturizer and um, this is the Anastasia Dibro Pomade in the shade Ebony. And I have a Soho flat liner brush that I use to fill in my eyebrows. Now, I don't fill my eyebrows intensely, very dark. Um, I just fill the gaps here and there. Um, good eyebrows or filled in eyebrows add a very, very youthful look to your overall face. That's the Becca Concealer and the Elf Flawless Concealer Brush. And the Becca Concealer shade was in the shade named Toffee. I went for a very subtle concealer coverage, not something too much. And uh, I just mixed this Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights in the shade Bare Light with my NARS foundation. Um, adding a highlighter or adding a glit uh, illuminator like this with your foundation adds that natural glow. And since this is winter time, I thought I should go for a glow, glowy, youthful kind of look. And I'm using the e.l.f. primer to uh, prime my eyelids so that the eyeshadows stay more... Um, stuck to your eyelid and i'm using the stila in the garden um, palette and i just took an eco tools brush and i'm just swiping that eyeshadow so i went for a very very subtle eyeshadow because i knew i wanted to wear a red lip for this tutorial i'm just packing that color in it's glitter but not too much just a little sheen um, and i'm using that matte kind of shade right under my brow bone to give me that highlighted effect just to give my eyebrows that extra lift and just doing the same thing on the other eye as well I think I filmed just one so the uh, highlight is this 24 by 7 Urban Decay Glittered Eyeliner I will list the products info in the description box so please go ahead and check that out this is very very subtle um, I should have gone for a thicker eyeliner application I just wanted that um, that shine once you move your eyes around it just has that little amount of shine and sheen I have another one in a blue teal kind of shade so these were uh, on sale for ten dollars on sephora one day and i just added them to my card and uh, that's the mascara that's the benefit they are real mascara i should have applied falsies i 
couldn't find as i mentioned i just got back from india a couple of days back um i mean about a week back and i still haven't sorted my luggage and uh, everything is uh, tucked away in my suitcases so i couldn't find my falsies but you can go ahead add a pair of false eyelashes to make this more glamorous i went for a very light uh, application here and i think i went back with my elf eyebrow wand i always try to remove the clumps in your uh, in my mascara application with this and it does the job very perfectly and i think i offline uh, i went offline and applied my kajal in my inner waterline i'm going for this gold shade now and the best part that i like these days is applying that gold shimmer kind of shade right in the inner corners it opens your eyes so well and um, it's not too much it makes you look more awake so i'm liking that application um, in the inner tear duct area and i have the small eco tools brush which is perfect for that purpose and i had uh, this um, highlighting kind of uh, liquid highlighter that came in one of my boxy charm videos it's a really nice rosy pink kind of uh, highlighter adds a very nice glow to your cheeks i didn't go for a blush for the same purpose i wanted my highlight to be that blushing rose kind of a shade where i didn't need uh, a blush on top of it and i just went over with whatever little i had on this brush and these are the style master brushes by the way i'm going to uh, post a picture or i'm going to um, do a review very soon on this so stay tuned so just went back and the uh, highlight of this product uh, of this video is this product right here this is the milani amore matte lip creams in the shade desire one of my absolute game changers um in beauty sense in 2015 absolutely love this and milani is coming up with 16 or 12 more shades so stay tuned and these are in the permanent collection they were released as a limited collection so i want to be very careful um i would suggest be very careful in application because these dry very quickly and once they dry they are set so i'm just going over my lip shape very carefully so that i don't make any mistakes and once you set and just one swipe is enough to complete your um to give that opaque color to your lips and they dry very quickly and they are very long lasting one of my absolute favorite lip products in 2015 I'm so so happy I picked up four shades. I have a detailed review on this with the swatches. I will link that video in the description box below. So please go ahead and check that out. You don't have to do that to your lips. I just did that uh, for the video purpose. I was just playing around. So yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, when it came to the makeup, I had really defined eyebrows. I had this hair clip. I just put it for the video, just to add some. Um, some kind of extra thing i guess so the look is very very simple please go ahead subscribe to my channel support me and look forward for more videos from me and i will see you guys very very soon bye bye